Hey guys, D Forte here. Today I wanted to give a little lesson on how to get files into a DOS virtual machine through VMware. So a lot of times you want to copy files from a real computer, such as a Windows computer, into DOS. And there's several different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the easiest way once you set things up. So what we're going to be doing is using a free tool called the Mini Tool Partition Wizard. And this particular version is 10.2.2. .2. So when you start it up, it shows you a list of all your hard drives, including USB drives that are connected. So I'm scrolling down to one of my disks here, disk 9, which has unallocated space. Essentially what that means is no partitions have been created yet. Now this part of course is going to look different for your configuration based on the types of disks you have. If you purchase let's say a USB drive they're usually pre-formatted so what you would probably see here is one or two partitions created and it would show the file size and most likely it'd be formatted as NTFS or FAT32 or maybe even FAT e EXFAT. Regardless, what you would do in the, if it was formatted is you would right click on it and you would delete the partition. So for example disk 8 here you'd come up and say delete. Now of course be really careful to make sure you've identified the correct disk first or you're going to lose everything on that disk. So anyway we'll assume that you know what disk you're going to be using and that you've deleted all the partitions. You will have unallocated space. Now what you need to do is create two partitions. The first partition has to be FAT16. So what we're going to do is do a create and here we're going to change the file system to FAT. FAT is actually going to be FAT16 and I'm just going to name the partition FAT16 and I'm going to assign a drive letter. In my case I'm just going to pick W. It really doesn't matter what letter you pick. What we're going to do then is change the partition size to 2.00 gigabytes and we'll hit OK. The next thing that we're going to do is go to the next partition and do another create and I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as NTFS because that's what Windows uses by default and I'm going to assign U for that particular partition. Once again it doesn't really matter what drive letter you assign but that's what I chose. Okay so now we're going to be using all the space on this drive. It's very important once again that the first partition is FAT16. You cannot do this as a second partition or DOS will have a fit and you'll have weird corruption problems. So now that we've done this we need to apply it to the disk. We say yes and Minitool does its job. And when it finishes, finishes here in a second, I'm going to show you how it appears to Windows. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close Minitool. Now let's bring over Windows Explorer or File Explorer to show you. As you can see, here's our W. It's a FAT16 partition. It's only about 2 gigabytes in size, and here's our NTFS. This W drive, in my case, FAT16, is where I can copy files up to it that I want to put into DOS. So I'm just going to say games here, and then what I'm going to do is copy over let's say Art of War. I just copied it from another window on another monitor and I pasted it there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is 
minimize this, bring up VMware, and I already have a DOS virtual machine here. In my case, I'm using DRDOS 6. Now what we need to do is add a hard drive. So you go to Edit Settings, Add, Hard Disk, leave it on IDE, and then come down here to the bottom and say Use Physical Disk. The next thing, which is the tricky part, you have to find the drive that you used inside Minitool. Next click use individual partitions. The trickiest part for this is the drive number there may not match up with what the mini tool showed. If it's the last drive that you connected most likely it'll have the highest number but that's not always the case. But this next screen will help you out because if you see two partitions and one of them is FAT16 you have the right drive. So now what we're going to do is pick partition 0 which you can see is our FAT16 2 gigabytes hit next go ahead and leave the default file name and hit finish now we're gonna say OK and now we can boot our DOS virtual machine I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to do the hard drive here okay so it is loaded now if we look at our C drive that's our typical DOS C drive now in my case it's going to be E and it depends on the number of hard drives you have but as you can see there's that games folder that I had made and sure enough there's Art of War. There's all the files. I can now copy these to the C drive. Let's just make Art of War and then I'm going to copy all of this to the C drive. I have now copied all these files into my virtual machine hard drive. So now I can play with them inside DOS. Now when you're done with DOS all you need to do is power off the virtual machine. I'm going to do shut down guest. Yes. And when you come back to Windows Explorer you can delete this folder if you want since you've copied it up. Now you can also go the opposite direction which I'll show you real quick. We're going to start up our virtual machine again play our disk and I'm going to copy something out of my virtual machine so that I can get to it from my Windows computer so once again, remember our E drive is where it's stored. Let's make a folder called Might and Magic 2 because I believe I had that on my C drive. Yeah, there it is. And I'm going to copy all these files to the E drive, Might and Magic 2. So let's verify that the files are there. There they are. So then once again, I can shut down this virtual machine. We're going to take a look at Windows W, our share, and look at that, Might Magic 2, there's all of our files. So once again, there's many ways to get files in and out of a DOS virtual machine, but this is one of the steady ways to do it, and I sure hope it helps. See you next time.